So after the sermon, we stand up and we say together what we believe. We confess one of the creeds, usually the Nicene Creed, sometimes the Apostles' Creed, once a year or so the Athanasian Creed. And they're all good, but the Nicene Creed is the one that's usually used in the divine service when the Lord's Supper is celebrated. And here we remember exactly who our triune God is, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And we emphasize the works of Jesus. You might notice that sometimes pastors will bow or maybe even kneel in the middle of this creed. You can too if you want to, but you don't have to. But this is a way of saying Jesus submitted himself to life as a human, even though he is perfect God in the flesh, even submitting himself to death. For you. But he didn't stay dead. He rose from the dead. He is exalted. And even now, he is living and reigning over all things until the day of his return. And as you look forward to that in hope, you recognize that we continue to confess this faith and to live as Christians. This isn't something that we should just walk away from or assume or take for granted. No, instead, we always remember that we need to get back to our Christian basics and confess our faith and be specific in who God our Father is, who Jesus is, what the Holy Spirit has done for us. We remember those things by telling God and one another as we use the creed together.